So tip number four then is, kind of goes along with this and it's minimize surprises. You know, people want to make sure that the expectations that you put up front are followed. You know, the bait and switch thing that like, you talked about the interview process. If the interview is like, here's our culture and we value people and you're going to have opportunity to do this and you'll ask us questions along the way and we're going to provide great, you know, somebody to sponsor you and walk you through and then you go through the onboarding. It's like, wait a minute, this is not only are, am I not getting that, but I, you, you talked to me about going on second shift at this facility. Now on onboarding, you're talking about third shift over here. Mm -hmm. So minimize surprises. You need to be honest and transparent. People can handle the truth, but they hate you know, being a feeling that you're being dishonest with them or not being true or clear. And, you know, a part of that is the minimizing surprises is you're part of the onboarding team and you really are disconnected from what the acquisition portion of it was. And you're asking and you're onboarding somebody for a different position or role that's completely different than what they've been hired to. So they need to have you got to have, you know, a very cohesive approach to your onboarding. So minimize those surprises. Make sure everything's consistent. There's clarity. Make sure that everything was offered in the offer letter is what you're actually signing them up to during onboarding. Like, if I if I'm interviewing Brett and I said, hey, we're looking, we're going to start you at thirty-two dollars an hour. In Brett's case, I'd probably say we're going to start you at twelve dollars an hour. You say yeah. I thought I got a raise. Yeah, you need to you need to. We're going to give you a bump up to twelve. So, and then he goes to the onboarding and they go like, oh no, it's $10 an hour. Wait a minute, that's not what I was told. So have your ducks in a row, make sure that you're aligned and that they, everything is, is copacetic. Don't surprise a new onboarding candidate. It's, it's not a good, not a good uh, look. So that's tip number four.